Other Energy is a startup building India's first smart electric scooter, the S340. Ather is focused on building technology for the future that is inevitably electric and seamlessly connected. Ather Energy was looking for the best infrastructure model and skill sets to manage its SAP S4 HANA infrastructure. Ather wanted a single independent cloud managed service provider which delivers performance with cost effectiveness. ESDS and Unlike Cloud proved to be the best match for Ather Energy. What were Ather's reasons to choose a commercial data center cloud solution for hosting S4 HANA ERP system? So, uh, uh, we are a startup, okay? And being a startup, uh, there are multiple uh, challenges when you start up, uh, when, when you do a startup. Okay, so um, we have a vision, so thus we have chosen to go with uh, HANA right from day one. Okay, but uh, now looking into the skill sets which is uh, available in house, it is not po uh, possible to manage and maintain it in house. So we are uh, looking for a partner who can help us to uh, put up the uh, data center to, to manage the infrastructure there, can to manage the SAP as well. So when we were uh, looking for that, so we, we have done through uh, Microsoft, we have done through uh, KWS and then uh, ESDS. And we found very much comfortable working with ESDS as they gave me the, the, confident, uh, the confidence that, um, that they will be putting up the infrastructure as well as uh, maintaining my infrastructure and its uh, uh, security. Plus uh, they will maintain the set for HANA which uh, I was not getting uh, anywhere else. And, and this is why we have chosen the key SDS. Initially, you chose AWS hosting for SAP. What were your reasons to move out? Yeah, so there, there are two big reasons uh, for choosing you. Uh, one is the cost. So whenever we do with uh, AWS, so that, uh, whenever we expand, the cost goes like 2x. Because uh, there is no, uh, there is always a vertical uh, provisioning which is in the uh, sizes of x plus 2x plus 3x plus 4x. So the cost with every increase becomes twice. And in case of uh, KSDS, we have a flexibility where in case if we need some kind of RAM to be increased or some kind of CPU to be increased, we can choose to increase it in that manner. And thus we have chosen a, a KSDS, which has uh, turned out to be very economic to us. And thus the second reason is the uh, to maintain it, okay, uh, like case, in case we go to uh, Amazon, uh, we were like one partner to, to maintain the Amazon cloud, then one partner to manage the security and the uh, DevOps part, and the third partner we needed to maintain the SAP. So whenever the problem comes, we have to reach to from one partner to the second partner, can the blame game starts. And when we are with KSDS, we have only one uh, person to get a uh, touch with and then he is a guy who needs to actually resolve or every problem. What were the top five things that you liked about ESDS and its solutions for hosting S4 HANA ERP system? Okay, so basically when we started uh, our planning to migrate to uh, ESDS, we had uh, some uh, wonderful consultant which they themselves proposed the good structure in which uh, we can design our infrastructure so that a DR requirement as well as the dev and QA and uh, production can be put up in a very seamless manner where we have an auto failover kind of structure with the least cost. In uh, general practice, you have one set of uh, instance where you have dev, QA and production and a second site where you have dev, QA and production. The cost becomes virtually 1.5x or like 2x kind of thing if you plan the DR and production both. But in case of a KSDS, uh, without looking into their own uh, benefits, they have come up and proposed us, we will put it in a manner so that the, the production will run in one instance, in one site, and the uh, dev and QA will run on the second site, and that dev and QA can be uh, act, uh, acting like a, uh, a, a DR for your production site and the vice versa and thus uh, we have a DR plus production being there and with a very optimal cost which is really good. So uh, basically uh, KSDS uh, has an in-house capability where uh, uh, they can manage a cloud in terms of uh, a cloud as a, a VM and then uh, we have uh, HANA TDI boxes 
which they uh, maintain and manage uh, themselves. So my uh, worry of uh, maintaining the platform uh, goes away. A uh, maintenance of the SAP. So uh, SAP resources are not common in the market, and if you you get it, you get it at a very uh, dear price. Okay. So uh, from that perspective, if you see um, the first thing is the personal touch. In case of the global uh, cloud providers, you don't get a personal touch. Okay, you are just left alone in the cloud, and then you have to find your own way there. So, in case of uh, KSDS, we have uh, people to whom we can speak to the, the people who can assure us. Oh, okay, your infrastructure, your services will be up and running. So, uh, so one thing is the single point of contact. Okay, so where you can just leave your worries for a single person, you can just pick up the phone, call one guy, and your issues being resolved. Uh, security. Uh, yeah, so uh, for putting up a enterprise uh, data on a cloud is always a worry. So uh, KSDS with its uh, multiple uh, certifications on cloud and their uh, security team being there in place, uh, full functioning SOC being there, uh, help us to gain a confidence that my data is safe and secure. The pricing, of course. So the pricing are very competitive in the market. Uh, and yeah, they are flexible to uh, work on the, uh, the pricing and can uh, give us the best of the pricing in the market, which is very competitive in nature. The last thing is the uh, expertise on SAP, of course. Uh, they have uh, uh, multiple customers. And uh, before uh, deciding on KSDS, we have spoken to multiple customers, uh, which are already there on uh, KSDS cloud, uh, having SAP and Kenhana being there. And yeah, they, they gave me the, the confidence that yes, uh, KSDS is the right choice to go on with it. How has your experience been with ESDS in the journey so far? Yes, so far it was a awesome uh, journey. What are the top five differences you have experienced between ESDS and Light Cloud Hosting versus cloud based solution from AWS, Azure, or other Indian cloud service providers? Yeah, so basically we uh, migrated from uh, Amazon to KSDS, but yeah, uh, KSDS has uh, done their done a wonderful job there, where uh, they have uh, uh, spoken to the uh, multiple vendors to whom we were engaged with earlier, and then uh, brought out a strategy to uh, migrate the complete infrastructure from the cloud, uh, from Amazon cloud to the KSDS cloud, and the experience was very smooth and uh, successful. Yeah, so the first thing is the vertical scaling. Okay, uh, none of the cloud provider as of now uh, give you a vertical scaling. So, you, for instance, you have only one, a 28, 256, and a likewise in the uh, 2x kind of thing. Whereas we, we get a flexibility that if we want to go from 128 to say 156 GB or like 192 GB, we are flexible to get it from there. And yes, so th this gives us comfort if we are falling short. Uh, somewhere so just by putting up some extra money you can uh, your needs can be fulfilled so without having to scale your infrastructure by 2x so this is the one most important point second thing is uh, the single point of contact uh, where you do not have to run from a vendor to vendor for any of the issues right the, th the third thing is your uh, security posture of course uh, which the we, we get the, the confidence that you are uh, that, that they have a uh, SOC team being there to uh, monitor and analyze the databases and uh, any kind of threat which is being posed to your enterprise data. So that is the uh, uh, fourth thing. Uh, the last thing is um, the, the maintenance of the SAP Kenhana. And with that, we actually found that yeah, it makes sense for us to go with the, the KSDS like company who are the new age company giving you a single stop shop for your uh, HANA needs right from infrastructure uh, till your uh, management uh, services.